dash one, which is lines and angles. We've got two learning targets that we want to master. First, I, I can identify a parallel perpendicular as two lines, and then I can identify the angles formed by two lines and a transversal. So before we start doing this, we have to identify what parallel lines are, perpendicular lines, speed lines, and parallel planes. So let's start with parallel lines. And we can write parallel lines with the double, it looks like two L's there. Parallel lines are both coplanar and they don't intersect. So in our figure here, we have line AB is going to be parallel to line EF. And if you notice the tick marks, here imply those two lines are parallel also, so we know that. Perpendicular lines are going to be lines that um, intersect at 90 degree angles, and there's a, we can denote those using upside down T. So if we start with line AB again, line AB and line AE are perpendicular. And we can see right angles formed by that square notation in the corner there. Our skew lines our lines are not coplanar, the lines aren't parallel, and they don't intersect. A lot of knots there. In our figure, again, if we start with line AB, a line that's going to be skew to AB is going to be line EG. And now our last is parallel planes. Those are planes that, again, don't intersect. And we name planes using three letters. So if we have plane a, B, E, parallel to that's going to be plane C, D, G. All right, we're going to go through an example using those definitions so that we are sure that we understand them. Um, again, we're going to use these marks that help us determine whether things are parallel or perpendicular. So first, we want to identify a pair of parallel segments. So if we look at the markers, we can see that NK is going to be parallel to LM. All right, so next we're going to look at four pair of skew segments. Skew, remember, they don't intersect. They're not in the same plane. So one example might be MS and PQ. All right, now we're going to look for a pair of perpendicular segments. We're going to use these perpendicular markers to help us identify some perpendicular segments. One example would be MR and RQ. And then lastly, we want to identify a pair of parallel planes. So we're going to be using three letters to identify those in our answer. A parallel plane example would be KNM is parallel to PSR. Excellent. Now it's your turn to try this on your own. So do the check it out for example one in your textbook or on the video here and be prepared to discuss it in class. Next we're going to get some more definitions. So we're looking at transversals and lines. First of all, we're going to define transversal. It's a line that intersects two coplanar lines at two different points. So here our transversal is T. And notice uh, there's interior, exterior being identified on the picture. So interior is inside these two lines that are being transected by the transversal. And exterior is outside those two lines. We're going to go through angles then associated with transversal and two lines. First set of angles that we're going to identify or talk about is corresponding angles. They lie on the same side of the transversal T. So here's our transversal, same side, either this side or this side. And they also lie, lie on the same side or relative position at to R and S. So what do I mean by that? I mean, for instance, angle three is in the same relative position as angle seven and on the same side of the transversal. So those would be corresponding angles. Second definition, angle definition, alternate interior angles. So again, through their transversal, alternate interior means they're on opposite sides of that transversal, but interior to the two lines. So an example of alternate interior angle would be angle three and angle six. 
Secondly, or thirdly, we're going to look at alternate exterior angles. So they're alternate or on opposite sides of our transversal, but exterior. So they're outside of the two lines. So an example of alternate exterior angles would be angle two and angle seven. And then our last angle type that we need to know is same side interior. So again, here's our transversal. They're on the same side of the transversal and interior to the transversal. Or sorry, in, interior to the two lines. So angle three and angle five, five are an example of same side interior angles. Great. Now let's try, um, we have another picture here to identify the different pairs of angles. Our first one, we're going to start with our corresponding angles. So as Ms. Briscoe said, start with identifying your transversal, the line that's going to intersect two lines, which is this line here. So our corresponding angles are going to be angles that are in the same relative location on the lines, same side, same side of the transversal. We have angle one and angle five would be a pair of corresponding angles. Our next one, alternate interior angles. So let's identify our transversal again line that intersects two lines. Alternate interior angles, so we're looking at angles three, four, five, or six. So if we pick angle four, that's interior, we have to go to the other side of the transversal, and that'd be angle six. And the next pair we're looking at are alternate exterior angles. So again, identify our transversal. Alternate exterior angles means we're looking at angles one, two, seven, or eight. So if we pick angle two, it's exterior. Alternate jump on the other side of transversal, it's gonna be angle eight. And our last pair of angles, the same side interior angles. So our transversal is there, hasn't moved at all. Same side interior, so we're looking at angles three, four, five and six are all interior angles. Same side, we go with angle four. Same side of the transverse will be angle five. Okay, now that we've done an example, we want you to do an example. So this is the one you should um, use. You're gonna find a pair of corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior and same side interior angles. Uh, put that into your notes for your homework. And please use your angle markers when you write your angles down. Okay, our last example is identifying angle pairs and transversals. So we're given a pair of angles here. We have angles three and angle one. So we want to figure out what line do those both share. So looking at this, angle one and angle three are both on line L. So line L is our transversal. So line L, line L is our transversal. Now how do angle one and angle three relate to each other? They are on the same side of the transversal and in relative location, or same corresponding location, so these would be corresponding angles. Okay, our next set of angles are angles two and angle six. So what line do those two share? Angle two and angle six both share line N, so line N is our transversal. And then determining how they relate to each other, well, to the transversal, they're on opposite sides. Are those interior or exterior angles, Ms. Frisco? They're inside the two lines, so that looks like it's interior. So they would be interior, alternate interior angles. <laughs> okay, our last pair of angles are angle four and angle six. So let's see what line those share. And angle four and six all fall on line M. So line M is our transversal. Okay, um, angle four and angle six, as far as their type of angles, they're both on the exterior, on the outside of the two lines. So in their opposite side of the transversal, these are going to be alternate, alternate exterior angles. Thank you for the help there. All right, so next, you're gonna have an example that you should do. So you're gonna identify the transversal and the type of angles that angle two and angle five are. Put that into your notes. Write down any questions that you have and hopefully we will 
uh, get to those next time we see you.